Hello, lovely Leo the Lion. We are going to take a look at your love lives from June 15th through June 30th. You did not come across FarmersOnly.com. You came across a love reading that, by the way, is general. It will not resonate with everyone. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is below. Zodiac sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising. And let's not forget Venus. That Venus sign is often overlooked, but never in a love reading should the Venus be neglected. Leo, what does Leo need to know? Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe this video and future videos. Leo in love. What do the romance angels have in store for Leo in love? Let's get one more card because, well, you wanted to pop out quickly there, and I want to get one more for you. Show me Leo, June 15th through the 30th. Leo in love. What do you want to tell Leo? And there we go, Leo. You obviously have something to say. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Leo, step outside of the box. Could be a different religion, a different ethnic background, difference in age. You just never know. Keep an open mind. Might be a tarot reader. You just don't know. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, Leo, I think what the universe is trying to tell you is that this new love just be something different than, than what you're normally used to. But that's okay. That is okay. We all need to think outside of the box, Leo. And yes, I am going to shuffle on screen today, so if you don't like it, you can fast forward. Leo in love. And bear with the shaking of the table. We all need a little shake up in our love lives every now and then, Leo. Right? Apparently you guys do because you're keeping an open mind about this new love and it's shaking things up. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's going on with Leo between June 15th and June 30th? How are you guys doing? I just went to start my car and well, it just didn't start. It just kept clicking over. I believe it's the starter. Second time that's happened. And normally I don't have issues with Honda Accords, but well, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse for me today, Leo. Let's see how your love life is doing. Leo, sun, moon, rising from June 15th through June 30th. One more shuffle, Leo. What's going on with Leo? Some of y'all are dealing with the Taurus. Show me Leo in love, please. Leo, June 15th through June 30th. One more, let's go. Leo, what's going on with Leo's love life? What does Leo need to know about their love life? What is going on with Leo? Leo in love. My dog's in the background with a bone. So you'll just have to kind of bear that. Sorry about that, guys. Leo's, sorry. Leo in love, sun, moon, rising, June 15th through June 30th. That's real annoying. June 15th through June 30th. I, I have to I feel another shuffle. One more shuffle. Just hang in there. Just hang in there, Leo. All right, you guys are strong, right? All right, let's do it. I'll clarify with the miniature rider weight, too, and see what's going on for Leo in love. Let's take a look. 15th through the 30th. Your overall energy, Leo's, is the queen of swords. Dun, 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 dun. This is no basic bitch. The queen of swords, you may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but that queen of swords, she takes the shit out that's just not necessary. She cuts through it. So if you're not dealing with an air sign, Leo, you might just be taking on the queen of swords mentality and cutting through the bullshit when it comes to your love life. And she doesn't mince words. Often the Queen of Swords is a single lady in the deck. She's got had some past hurt, right? And so she tends to be very cautious. 
And again, she does not mince her words, Leo. She will cut through the shit. All right? So that is what you're dealing with. All right, let's see what's going on. You guys might just be cutting through some bullshit right about now, Leo. All right, let's take a look. So I will clarify with the Rider Waite. All right, well, you're showing up in the goddamn center of the reading, Leo, and I love it when that happens. But what I don't love is the fact that, well, you're coming out in reverse, Leo. Right now, coming into the current moment, you're just not feeling real happy. You might be a little pessimistic. There might be some delays in your love life, or you just might be a little depressed, and that might be why you're taking on this Queen of Swords energy because you don't want to be depressed anymore. You don't want delays, and you're going to cut the bullshit. What is influencing that sun in reverse is the Knight of Swords. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Knight of Swords rushes in because they have something to communicate, right? And whatever's being communicated, Leo, it may just not have you real happy right now, okay? Uh, what is on your mind is the moon in reverse, sign of Pisces. What's on your mind right now, Leo, is well, that maybe just a big fat secret came out. And you're not happy about whatever came out and you're gonna cut through the shit, okay? All right, because in the recent past, we have some Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy here, that Knight of Cups, somebody in the recent, sorry, my battery likes to do that every once in a while. In the recent past, we have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy, but somebody in the past was opening up or offering their emotion, Leo. They did, it's right there. Why it's all happening or the situation is the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, Somebody's holding back. Somebody is holding back and they're being a little bit stubborn. They are not budging. But what they probably don't already know, Leo, is that on your mind, you already know. You've got all the information because it's come out. Now, coming into the near future, you do have the Six of Pentacles, more Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I see some money stuff going on here too. This is a love reading, okay? Somebody might be holding back some money or they might just be holding back some information. But whatever it is, Leo, I think you got it on the noggin with that moon in reverse. It's all come out. Coming into the near future, the Six of Pentacles, it's balance. So you're gonna experience a balancing out of the situation. So whatever you are not happy about right now, Leo, coming into the current moment or that's making you a little bit depressed or sad, okay? This Knight of Swords energy is probably gonna rush in. If you're not, you could be dealing with an, an air sign, but you're gonna have balance. Um, there's gonna be giving and receiving in this situation and everything's gonna balance out. How you see yourself right now, Leo, is the Four of Swords, more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Right now you see yourself as taking a little break. You might be withdrawing from somebody. You might be healing, resting, and recuperating, okay? External to you, Leo, is the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. When I say external, it's the energy that's influencing everything. The reason for the reading is somebody's holding back or holding on to something. And that energy external to you is those, that three of pentacles in reverse. People aren't seeing eye to eye. People are not working as a team. People are not collaborating, okay? We're gonna clarify and see what the hell's going on. And that might be why you're a little bit not happy in the center of the reading. Hopes or fears is the world, Leo. I think you guys are hoping for some type of ending, some type of cycle to close out so that that sun can come up in the upright and you can get happy again. The world is also about learning lessons, Leo, okay? So you might be hoping you or somebody in this scenario learns a lesson and that lesson just might be this goddamn secret that came out. All right. Most likely outcome is the fool, sign of Aries, okay, Leo? Most likely outcome is, well, either somebody's gonna feel like a fool or you guys are gonna take a brand new beginning in some aspect of your love life. You're gonna take a risk and jump off the cliff. Take that leap of faith, okay? Because you're hoping for a cycle to end and for something new to begin. And with that Queen of Swords energy, I don't think anybody's gonna stop you, 
Leo? I really don't. So let's clarify for Leo and see what's going on. Leo in love. June 15th through June 30th. Zodiac sign of Leo in love. What do you want Leo to know about their love lives from June 15th through June 30th? I just want to say too, I really love Leo. I love, I love Leos. I love the zodiac sign of Leo. Such awesome people. I love it. You guys have that passion. You're excited. You're go-getters. like it. Leo in love. What is going on? One more shuffle. Let's clarify these areas. Let's see what this moon is that you're thinking about. Could be thinking about a Pisces or, well, you could just be thinking about a big fat secret that came out. Moon. Why is the moon here for Leo? Clarify the moon. Remember, the angels are telling you to keep an open mind. So whatever came to light, you need to keep an open mind about it. And let's take a look at the moon. Why is Leo thinking about this moon? What is the moon? Ooh, too many, but we will take this one. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, Leo... <clears throat> A sign of Taurus or Libra, but the Empress in reverse is kind of not having your self-worth. It's lacking that self-worth or it's a lacking, it's lacking abundance and growth in a relationship. It's not being nurtured, okay? It's also doubting your self-worth. So what's on your mind is maybe something came to light um, and it's having you really doubt yourself, right? It's making you question your self-worth because whatever it is, coming to the current moment, it has you feeling kind of sad, right? It's, you're not happy right now. And we're gonna take a look at why, Leo. Why is the sun in reverse here for Leo, please? Please clarify the sun in reverse for Leo. And we have a temperance, sign of Sagittarius. But the temperance card is all about comprom compromise, being patient, right? Getting your, your emotions back in check, back in balance. So I think that's what you're doing. I think coming to the current moment, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius that's making you a little bit blue or not happy. But also too, temperance again is talking about taming those emotions, getting thing, everything, knowing that everything is divinely guided. And you're starting to kind of, you're being patient about whatever it is that kind of has your self-esteem down a little bit. Could have been, again, something came to light. Let's see the Knight of Cups in the recent past for Leo. Was this an offer? Was this an emotional offer, Leo? Was it a Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces, maybe? And it's the world. So something, some old chapter in the recent past ended, and it may have had something to do with an offer, something that made you emotionally happy, uh, something closed out and something new ended. Or again, you know, the world to me a lot of times is the energy of learning a lesson, and it had something to do with an emotional aspect, an emotional offer giving, given to you. Let's see why the Four of Pentacles is here. What's this Four of Pentacles for Leo? The reason it's all happening, the energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, somebody's holding back on you guys. What is the Four of Pentacles for Leo, please? What's this Four of Pentacles? It's the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, new love, okay? It's a new love, new offer of love. So it has something, but the Ace of Cups doesn't always have to be like new love. It could be just be something that on an emotional basis really like moves you. Do you know what I mean? It's something that's tugging at your heartstrings. Could be new love. Could be somebody is holding back from you. Um, also too, sometimes that Four of Pentacles talks about holding on to something too tightly. So there could be some aspect of your emotions, Leo, that you're holding on too tightly, or somebody is holding back and not budging when it comes to some type of, yes, could be new love, but also could just be like an emotional tie to somebody. Six of Pentacles is what you're going to experience coming into the near future. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, everything will get balanced out. And I think you know that, Leo, because you have that temperance card. You're feeling blue and a little bit sad right now, but you're starting to get your emotions in check and everything is balanced. Temperance is about balance and so is the, is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles for Leo coming into the near future. What is the Six of Pentacles? The lovers in reverse, sign of Gemini. There might be a Gemini in your midst that's 
well, just acting up. But you're gonna get balanced back into the situation, okay? That lovers in reverse can also talk about um, a head over heart decision, right, that just you just can't make. I don't think that's it because you're gonna experience balance. So either there was like a falling out, not seeing eye to eye with somebody, some kind of uh, tie was broken, um, and, but you're gonna get the balance. You're, it's gonna all equal out. There'll be fair give and take in the situation. Could be dealing with eight Gemini. Why does Leo see themselves as the four of swords right now? Resting, healing, maybe taking a break or withdrawing. Why is the four of swords here for Leo, please? And the five of swords, conflict, manipulation, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy, not seeing eye to eye with somebody, somebody trying to win at all costs. Very self-centered energy and nasty communication and fighting, okay? So, Leo, you're taking a break and you're withdrawing yourself from that bullshit and why wouldn't you, okay? Why wouldn't you? External to you is this three of pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Somebody's not on the same page, not seeing eye to eye. You're not receiving your accolades. People aren't working together. Um, threes in the reverse for me also too can indicate an deactivation and some type of partnership. Three of pentacles for Leo, please. And we have the seven of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody trying to be sneaky or get away with something, right? Trying not to get caught doing something and it's causing a deactivation and some type of cooperation or teamwork or coming together, Leo. That's external to you, so that's what's going on. And that's probably why coming in the current moment, you're just not feeling that sun. You're feeling a little bit sad, blue, depressed, and I think that you know this person is being sneaky because what's on your mind is the moon in reverse. Why is the fool here for Leo? Most likely outcome, the fool could be dealing with an Aries. Why is the fool here, please? Why is the fool here? And the nine of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think somebody's acting up, Leo. Most likely outcome, I think that somebody's acting a fool and it's going to leave you in a lot of anxiety and worry, probably some sleepless nights, okay? Others of you, again, you may decide to take a leap of faith, take a risk on something new in your love life, but it's gonna leave you worried, kind of up at night, going around and around in your head. Let's take another look at that Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords for Leo. What is the Nine of Swords, please? What is the Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords for Leo. And it is the Three of Cups. Yes, could be third party involvement. Maybe there are just too many people involved in the situation, Leo. And it is leaving you like this poor, poor, poor lady or man. Is it a man? I think it's a man. Yeah. But he can't sleep at night. So not the best outcome, and I'm very, very sorry for that. But yeah, it looks like there's going to be some worry and anxiety in the most likely outcome because I think somebody's involved that really doesn't need to be involved. And that might be what came out, Leo. That might be what you're thinking about. But somebody's holding back on this new love. Maybe you found out about a new love and there was third party involvement or some shit. I don't know. And somebody's just not budging because they know. What do they know? That four of pentacles person, they know that the moon in reverse is on your mind, Leo, and that you know everything you need to know. Let's clarify the queen of swords. Why is the queen of swords here for Leo? Who or what energy is this queen of swords? Queen of swords, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is the queen of swords for Leo? King of pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Lack of stability, right? Uh, could be a loss of money or just loss of focus. King of Pentacles in the upright is all about stability and money. Um, he's all about the commitment, that kind of thing. But when he comes out in the reverse, he's just commitment phobe a little bit, a little bit self-centered, um, not real loyal, right? Um, sometimes the King of Pentacles in reverse can indicate somebody's investing more than the other person. Um, but I think Leo, if you're not dealing with an air sign, you're taking on this Queen of Swords mentality. Um, and it has something to do with stability within your relationship right now because um, you're not feeling it. But you are going to get that balance coming in. Um, but I just think in the outcome, it's going to leave you feeling a little bit anxious and a little bit nervous. Could be about a brand new beginning, some type of leap of faith that you're taking. Or you just feel foolish because, well, there may have been a third party involvement. All right, Leo, you guys, take care, and I will see you soon.